Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today, well, it's a random scenario, um, slightly modified by uh, Twitch chat. I'm going to design these uh, battle cruisers. Um, and yeah, we've got a one or a two. Might as well go with a two. Um, might as well go for a big one because we don't have um, the. Uh, the battleships that the scenario originally gave me. Uh, I'm going to go with the, the the big advanced tower. Uh, yeah, but if you've got an offset admiral, um, then uh, your ship is just bad. <laughs> you don't want you don't want an offset. Right, and put that tower back there. Okay. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, that's all right, Mrs. Medieval. Thanks for dropping by. Um, let's go for oil. Uh, 52 smoke. That is uh, very generous. Let's go for two advanced funnels. No, you don't want offsets. Offsets are genu genuinely bad. Like This scenario is going to be hard enough uh, without having a ship that like genuinely if you if you do do that like if you go if you switch off the auto mirror and you go like and you just stick a gun like if you could do that like a hundred percent starboard weight offset absolutely cripples your ship like cripples it 40 percent base accuracy bonus even that alone is is just awful um so, uh, hmm. Oh my goodness. Uh, what was that? <laughs> Thank you for hosting the stream, uh, Nivmix. Is that right? Nivmilk. Thank you. Uh, gun wise, 13s or 12s. Hmm. Might go with twelves. I do quite like the twelve. Eight guns. Uh, twelve fits on a medium, doesn't it? It does. Hey, consult the oracle. Will this ship explode? Probably. Uh. I'm thinking if we go something like that, that should give us quite a lot of firepower, right? And uh, technically it's not symmetrical because the ship isn't symmetrical. <laughs> I know you meant long ways, Hardmore. Um, I do have an half weight offset though, that's not okay. Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, that, that actually fits quite well. There you go. Uh, Nelson on the front uh, with a couple on the back. Obviously, it's not 16-inch. Um, oh, I should check. Thank you. Um, secondaries might be a good idea. Six inch guns are usually pretty good at that. Put a couple in there. Uh, this is becoming more orc like as it goes on. Casement guns. Oh. Oh, yes, on the funnels as well. Oh, it doesn't like the ones on the funnels. Boo. Hiss. What about two inch? Oh, sad. Right. Uh, uh, Blue Crown is a prime uh, onion. So if you're a prime member, as in you have Amazon Prime and you've linked it with Twitch. Uh, right. 
two, 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 two. Fit more six inch guns down there. Lovely. That should give us uh, more than enough firepower. <laughs> uh, no, this is not Richelieu. Uh, this is the Battlecruiser 2 for France. Right. Uh, let's get gear turbines, an diesel, propeller shaft, standard bolt kits. Uh, not going to bother with range. Uh, speed. Well, we should probably have some form of speed, right? It is a battle cruiser. 30 knots seems excessive, though. But 32 knots even more excessive. <laughs> but sure, why not? Jesus. Right, uh, armor. Um, explosives. Let's go two pounder super heavy. Or, sorry, two pounder heavy. That's always fun. Um, enhanced reloading. Advanced hydraulics. For instance, range finder. A hydrophone just in case. So, reinforce the bulk kids. Get maximum, but I think standard will be fine. Bob it. Uh, I could get that. Eternal. I could get that. It's probably sensible, isn't it? Um, but what I'm noticing is if I go for my normal setup, I'm going to go overweight immediately. So I was thinking of doing something a little bit weird and not bothering with any of this stuff. Uh, I might not even bother with the anti-flood, actually. In fact, let's go standard bolt kids. And I know this seems bizarre. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. Um, yeah, three inches of deck armor should be plenty. I'll just put that all over. Uh, and belt. Yeah, if we've got like a 20 inch belt. Uh, 20 inch on the extender belt's not going to work though, is it? No. We have 20, 10, and 20 on the turrets. <sighs> nearly. Very nearly. Uh, what about 19? Oh no, I'm way over. What am I talking about? <laughs> Let's go 2010. How about that? Slightly more normal setup. There we go. Um, about 640 tons over. Uh, hmm. Just wondering what. Turn tone down a little bit. Tone down deck extended a couple notches. There you go. And just a little bit more on the tower. Have I gone <laughs> I just go go over and look at chat. What's the scenario? This is just a random battle, Mr. Short. Uh have I gone crazy? Yep. It's, it's technically a battle cruiser. Uh 32 knots. Uh, <laughs> it's armoured like a brick and has a ton of guns on it. Uh, so, Hardmore, I do apologise for um, having a, well, symmetrical in this axis ship. But I hope you won't uh, hold it against me too much. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's see if this uh, slightly unusual design is any good. Uh, actually, I should fix that weight offset first. There we go. Yeah, all or nothing. <laughs> the 
It's literally nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yep. If it goes past the armor, I'm in trouble. I'm in real trouble. And they've got battleships as well. So, mm, yes, this could be interesting. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Come on, game. Taking a while. You should call it the champagne. Yeah, that's, that would be a good name. It's going to pop. All right, Chad, do you want to bet? Do you want to bet? <laughs> Make your predictions now. Um, so we've got two battle cruisers, two heavies, two uh, light, two destroyers against their two battleships, a battle cruiser and a heavy light and a destroyer. Yeah, absolutely, Hobnall. I will. Uh, I will refund you the points uh, as soon as the stream ends. Um, right. Interesting. Right. Let's get our cruisers together and go and have a quick look at them. We've got the Henri, the fourth. Oh, I've been copying a Soviet design from yesterday's video. It's not. Except it's not as good because uh, nothing can be as good as glorious Soviet design. Got the Magon. Pretty weird light cruiser, but I suppose it might do something. And a couple destroyers. Okay. Let's put the. Um, actually, I'm going to do something a bit weird. I'm going to split the battle cruisers. So we have the Grand Anglais <laughs> and the. Amarante. And I'm going to put the cruisers to screen the Amarante. And I'm going to put the, leave the destroyers screening the other battle cruiser. So each battle cruiser has its own screen. Right, and north we go. Ba, 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 ba. Yep, it's uh, Japan We're fighting. Means they might have a Fuso, which uh, could be a little bit interesting. But uh, we have uh, this glorious ship, fast, deadly. I'm sure we'll uh, have no problems whatsoever uh, because there's absolutely no glaring design flaws in these at all. <laughs> If, use a gun. If that doesn't work, use more gun. Yes, exactly. Uh, Dueling Shrimp Dragon is just a silly thing you can you can do in the Twitch chat. Right. Enemy in sight. Let's go have a look. Uh, not a Fuso. It's the one before that. Weird. Like, <laughs> it's a big little funnel. Uh, lots of guns, though. Three, six, nine, twelve, eighteen of them. Twelves. Okay. At least they're not fourteens. That could prove slightly difficult for us. Right. So steam in. So we're going to have these slightly warier torps. That's it. Probably better off close in, although I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. No matter what range, in terms of the armour. They've got no chance. See, thank you, Onion. That is the kind of confidence I like. Ah, there we go. Destroyer spotted. Let's obliterate that in short order, please. Does have torpedoes, but they're not in range yet. So if we can blow it up at range, that would be excellent. 
Meanwhile, we can get some IDs on the rest of the fleet. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> ah, they're using an... <laughs> it's Yuki, except with an extra gun per turret and an extra turret. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sometimes this game does throw out some incredible designs, like genuinely bonkers things. Oh, looks like they're aiming some torps at me, which I don't like. Let's get turning. Oh, there we go. Pretty big one as well. 12 inch gun. Hundred percent ID. Did you fire your torpedoes to destroy it? Hatsu Haru? No you did not. Excellent. Right, we've got an ID on the enemy battleship. The Ashai. 12 inch white powder. Uh, heavy shells, plenty of secondaries, loads of six inch casement guns, slower than us, and not as well armoured. Hmm. Interesting. Still a lot of shells they pump out. Seem to be wanting to destroy a light cruiser currently. Is this their battle cruiser over here? Oh, pathetic! Although weird. What the flip? <laughs> Jesus Christ! What? Why? Oh my word. If that hits anything the whole battle, I'll be amazed. And then they've got their armoured cruiser over here. And they seem to have forgotten the guns for that one. Oh my word. <laughs> I don't know why we're firing on that poor battle cruiser, but we are. Hail the fire going out from the Grand Anglais. One hit. Lovely. Here we go. 12 inch cordite. Oh my word. Heavy cordite guns. Oh dear. Well, <laughs> we said we wanted to see. Look at that. Look at that. That is ridiculous. <laughs> third of the turret hanging off the edge of the ship. Look! Ridiculous. Oh gosh, actually did some damage through the extended belt. It does have a torpedo launcher. Where? On the side, so you have to be slightly cautious about that. It's a whole bunch of hits and flash fire. <laughs> Predictably. Yeah, one of the wing turrets exploded. You gonna do it again? You might. No, but sinking nonetheless. There you go. Right. <laughs> And that, children, is why you do not build ships with a ton of cordite powered guns. Yeah, the middle turret wasn't turning. Um, apparently they've uh, got a fix for that with uh, Core Patch 1. But, uh, see it soon enough, I think. Why are you firing at the armoured cruiser? Fire at the battleship. Although, to be fair, you did get a hit, which is pretty impressive. Good. Took out a casement. Sounded like a big hit, but wasn't that bad. Oh, 
yeah, there we go. Lovely stuff. Not much in the way of damage, but it looked cool. How do I think the propellant update will change the game? I think that will make a pretty big difference. So the reason the devs revealed that they were doing that is because someone was saying on the forum something that I've said. <sighs> Destroy seats. Something I've said quite a lot in my videos is that, ow, stop that. Shooting the extended belt, so rude. Um, is uh, cordite is basically useless at the moment. Like it doesn't do anything. No reason to take it whatsoever. Um, and uh, yeah, the game doesn't really tell you what the difference is. Like it, it kind of assumes that um, your propellant and your explosives are the same thing, which of course they they really weren't. Um, taking a lot more damage than I was expecting. Ow. Now, of course, in damage back, though. Slowly but surely. Support ships are all way, way back. Um, I think it'll give us. Uh, I think it'll give us more actual options, which is always good. Uh, I think it'll make it a more interesting choice um, in in what you go for, and might give us some interesting combinations. Uh, you know, for pure AP builds. Uh, HE builds, maybe balanced builds, kind of thing, and by using different combinations of things. Ooh, heavy hit. Doing a lot of damage. The the Almirante is doing a lot more damage than the Grand Anglais. Oh, angling. It's annoying. Yeah, they don't carry torps. Good damage. Very good damage. And a flash fire. Thank you very much. <laughs> That is probably terminal for the uh, Ashai. Yep, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Now we just need to put the uh, finishing touches on the set suit. Does that cruiser have any torps? Oh my god. Yeah, it does. Okay. One ground on late. Do some damage here. Ooh, that was good. That was good. So, ground on late has done 151 damage. Which is pathetic. Oh no, sorry. Um, that's hits. 3.6 thousand. Okay. And the other one has done 3.9. What? Just feels like the uh, Almirante has done more damage. Apparently not. Come on. I mean, I know it has, but it's only 300. Oh, there we go. Lovely stuff. 
that's a lot of flooding on the setsu. Uh, I'll have the Alberan to take on the Tokawa. Oh, torpedo hit. <laughs> Go like cruiser. <laughs> Nicely done. The uh, screening ships, of course, can't actually keep up with the battle cruisers, but uh, finally doing something. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that, that, that's gonna hurt a lot. Even the six inch guns punching through the armor. Wind up another salvo. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Maximum bulkheads, though. So, not necessarily terminal. The uh, Grand Anglais will uh, probably be able to get another salvo in. Good hits. Yeah, that that is that is very bad. Yep, down it goes. Right. Not much left. Is that a destroyer out there? Might be. Fire an AP at it, though. Uh, no, it's not. It's a light cruiser, I think. Yeah, it must be their light cruiser, which has been hiding at the back the whole time. Mm -mm -mm. Light cruiser, it is, which uh, is uh, not going to fare overly well. Oh, change the name so protected and uh, armored. Yeah, probably, but uh, I think that's a reasonable abstraction. Um, they, they're called that in the hull names a lot of the time, um, but I think uh, I think that distinction is. A little going to be a little bit uh, academic for most people just like playing the game um, but yes you're absolutely right it's a protected cruiser not a light cruiser but... fulfills broadly the same role uh, which is currently just a sick Maximum bulkheads though. It might take a while. Poke some more holes in it. Let's get one more look at this thing firing. Not sure any of that actually hit, <laughs> but uh, it's fun to watch. Another flooding hit. 
Boom. That hit. A light cruiser outpaced by the battle cruiser, and uh, it's currently dead in the water, so pretty easy target. Just don't want to do anything stupid like sailing into a torpedo. There we go. Down it goes, and victory to the French. Didn't lose either of my battle cruisers. Uh, despite the uh, nonsense um, of uh, <laughs> how, I, how I did that uh, particular design. But uh, there you go. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this. It was just under 30 million as well, so not exactly a super expensive ship. Um, certainly had a lot of firepower. Right. Uh, I will see you soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.